I often find myself needing to displace geometry, but don't always want to increase the poly count of my mesh items. When using a texture layer with its layer effect set to displacement, the mesh is subdivided at render time to create the displacement, producing a higher poly count. In this video, I'd like to share a method for displacing geometry with a texture layer using the effects item in the shader tree, which provides a way to control scene related functions that aren't directly surface or shading related using shader tree textures. I'll start by adding a transform effector to the mesh item and a radial fall off to the scene. Next, I'll connect the radial fall off to the transform effector. If I adjust the transform effector, we can see the results of this setup. I can also adjust the radial fall off to control what portions of the mesh are affected by the transform effector. If I add a texture layer to the effects item, its layer effect will change to fall off value, which will allow me to modulate the strength of the fall off using the values of the texture layer. With this setup, I can displace the verts that make up the mesh item without adding additional geometry at render time. This can be an incredibly powerful option that's easily overlooked, so be sure to add this to your Moto Toolkit for future use.